Okay, what I've done here is I've uh, created a new world. I've used a variety of different materials. You can see um, I've got a brown walkway um, with some material in between, and most of my world is, in fact, grass. So what I'm going to do is move on to a new tool, and the tool is to create hills. Um, so I'm going to select that, the one next to the paint terrain tool. Just going to select a brush. A nice round brush here is fine. And I'm going to click... And you can see straight away it takes the ground it starts to create hills around it. You can kind of experiment in create hills as you would like. If you make a mistake, no surprise, if you click on the right mouse button, it starts to level off the hills. So I'm just going to carry on doing a bit of a corner on this one so it kind of feels more like um, you're captured in your own maze environment. Another tool which we could use, which is a particularly useful one, is to smooth or level our hills. I'm going to click on that. Again, I'm going to check the brush is a, a circle one. And now, <coughs> it will remove the jagged sections, kind of level things off a little bit more effectively. Let's just have a look with our camera to see what that looks like. You can see now we've got quite simply a bit of a a hill going around the outside. You can make hills in the middle. Um, it's just really a case of practicing. Um, another great technique is to smooth the entire section down. To do that, you need to click on the Smooth or Level tool. Choose a brush called the Magic Brush. It selects the entire grass. If you hover your cursor, whatever material is selected, it will select the entire thing. If I click, you can start to see the whole level really smooth off and it looks a little bit more professional let's just use the camera you can see now that we definitely have a bit of an edge to our level which looks great let's look at a couple of other techniques in which we can make levels uh, a bit more exciting and interesting what i'm going to use is the uh, create hills or valleys tool and I'm going to choose the magic tool again. I'm going to select the grass, and by clicking it's going to raise the entire environment up. Which it's done so. There's quite an interesting technique where you can reduce the size of your brush. So I'm just going to click on the left mouse. You can see that it's selected so the left arrow. You can see it's reduced the brush size. If I click on my right mouse button now, you can see it's created a wall around the perimeter of my level and a wall blocking off the entrance to the path. That's a particularly useful technique for building the level. What you could do then is, of course, you could take your brush tool, take my, um, change my brush to a square, and now. I can create an entrance to my level around the walls. So there's lots of options available to you when building your terrain. Uh, it's just a matter of experiment, experimenting with the different brushes and the different effects which you can create.